they were bigger, stronger, and deadlier than any wolf alive today. For over 10,000 years, they've been buried under layers of ice and time, but now, they're back. The dire wolf wasn't just a legend, it was real. Roaming the Americas during the Ice Age, it stood shoulder to shoulder with creatures like the woolly mammoth and saber-toothed tiger. Weighing up to 150 pounds with teeth capable of crushing bone, the dire wolf was a fearsome predator, not a fantasy, a fact. Over 4,000 dire wolf fossils have been uncovered from the La Brea Tar Pits alone, a graveyard of prehistoric giants. But then, something changed. As the Ice Age ended, the climate warmed, forests replaced frozen plains and prey animals vanished. Slowly, the dire wolf faded into extinction. Some say it was the changing environment, others blame early humans and competition from modern gray wolves. Whatever the cause, the dire wolf became history until now. In 2025, a biotech company in the United States made headlines across the globe. Colossal Biosciences, the same team working on reviving the woolly mammoth, announced something even bolder. They had successfully revived the dire wolf, not in theory, in reality. Using cutting-edge CRISPR gene editing, scientists reconstructed the dire wolf's DNA using fragments from fossilized remains, filling in the blanks with DNA from modern wolves and dogs. They implanted the embryo into a large hybrid surrogate, and months later, the impossible happened. A living, breathing dire wolf was born. Now here's the twist. Is it truly a dire wolf, or a proxy version? Because we can't recreate every genetic detail, what we have is the closest possible living match. An animal with the physical and behavioral traits of the dire wolf, built using modern science. It's not cloning, it's de-extinction, and it's the first time in human history we've brought back an animal from true extinction. The world is divided. Some say this is humanity's greatest scientific triumph. Others call it dangerous, a modern Frankenstein story. What happens when these animals grow? Will they fit into today's ecosystems? Could they disrupt nature instead of restoring it? Scientists argue this isn't just about dire wolves. It's about protecting endangered species, reversing past damage, and learning how to manage Earth's biodiversity. But there's one thing everyone agrees on. The age of extinction may be over. The dire wolf is just the beginning. Colossal is already working on reviving the woolly mammoth. Other groups are targeting the dodo, even the thylacine, the Tasmanian tiger. Could Jurassic Park become real in our lifetime? Probably not dinosaurs, their DNA is too degraded. But Ice Age giants? Entirely possible. We brought back a creature that vanished 10,000 years ago because we could. But the real question is, what happens now that it's back? If you like the story, hit that like button. Would you want to see dire wolves in the wild again? Or is it too dangerous to mess with nature? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to Mr. Brainbite, where the line between mystery and reality is always one story away.